So in this video, we're going to go ahead and instantiate our first virtual machine based on the master disk image that we created in the previous video. So if you notice, I'm on a little server here. Let me bring up the task manager just so we can take a look at this old, wonderful little server that I have here. If you notice CPUs, it's got eight physical cores, it's got 16 logical processors that we can use. Virtualization, of course, is enabled, obviously. Okay, and we've got 64 gigs of RAM that we can allocate over virtual machines. So let's go into Tools, let's open up Hyper-V, and we'll get started. So in Hyper-V, the first thing that I'm gonna do is come over here and choose New Virtual Machine. And I'm actually gonna use this virtual machine in future videos and demonstrations. So I'm gonna call it MIIM for Master IT in Minutes, WSUS letting me know that it's gonna be a Windows Software Update Server 0001. I am gonna store this since I have a couple of solid state drives in this old server. I'm going to allocate this virtual machine to another SSD drive just to sort of balance out the IO to these SSDs. So I'll choose select there. Notice it's gonna build a folder structure on F. I'm gonna choose next. I'm gonna make it a generation two virtual machine. And since I have ample memory, I'm gonna give it 4096. Now I also have, you know, virtual processors that I can allocate as well, which we'll do in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and just connect this out to the internet. I'm gonna choose next. Now here, normally if we were building a new virtual machine, we would need to create a hard, a virtual hard disk. But in this case, we're gonna attach one later. So I'll choose attach virtual disk later. I'll choose next. I don't have to go through any sort of install process. I'm saving myself. I don't have to do updates. This is where the time savings comes from. So now that I have this machine created, I'm gonna come into File Explorer here and let's go take a look at what is inside that folder structure. And if you notice, there's just the virtual machine files here. There's not a virtual hard disk. I'm gonna come back here to where we created our initial drive. And notice this is sort of my little secret here. It saves me a lot of time. I'm actually going to copy this virtual hard disk from my standard master GUI. Um, notice there's the disk in there, but what I'm gonna do is actually copy the whole folder structure. That way I am consistent with all my virtual machines. So I'll go ahead and I will copy there. Now I'll pause as this copies. Actually, it's gonna go pretty quick. So it's gonna copy it over to the WSUS. And if you notice, I get a consistent folder structure that matches the folder structure for my other virtual machines. Looks like it's almost done copying. It is. Here is the WSUS. Here is the virtual hard disk, master disk that we created. I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this. I am obviously going to rename it. I don't want a bunch of disks. I wanna know what this one is for. So I'm gonna rename it with the virtual machine name, MIIM WSUS0001. That's gonna be my virtual disk. So there we are, we have that virtual disk. Now the next thing we need to do is come in and install that virtual disk into our Hyper-V. So if you notice here, there's nothing under the SCSI controller when I hit on settings. So I'm gonna to come to SCSI controller. I'm gonna add a hard drive and choose add. Now I'm gonna browse out to where we put that, which if you remember correctly was on the F drive. There's our machine. There is our virtual hard disks and this is the one I want. Now I can double check, make sure I've named everything correctly. I can put that in there. I can choose apply because there's one more thing we wanna do. And if you notice, there is my virtual machine. It's gonna go ahead and apply these changes. And then from there, we're gonna actually put that hard drive. Notice how it's behind the network adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and move this up so that it boots to the hard drive first. While I'm in here, I'm gonna add another processor. I'm gonna confirm my RAM. Everything looks good for this machine. Depending on how I'm using it, I may need to turn off checkpoints. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn off checkpoints. 
for this machine. I'm not going to need them. I'm going to choose apply and OK. And now we're ready to instantiate our machine. I'm going to just double click on it and start up our machine for the first time. Now I will let you know that this takes a little longer than you're used to seeing as it pertains to starting up the machine, but it doesn't take long at all. Depending on you know, your drives, I'm using SSDs, I'm applying enough RAM. If you've got some older SATA drives that are running this, it's going to take a little bit longer. But as you can see, it's gone ahead, it's made it bigger based on the settings that I set in my master, and it is getting the server ready. I'm going to go ahead and pause while it completes this process. There we are, it's up, it's ready for us to configure. So because we sys prep this, we can just walk through the process of configuring this virtual machine. Now let me just quickly remind you, make sure that your licensing is correct and that you're in compliance with the appropriate licensing for virtual machines. You can go out to the web, read about licensing, depending on your version on your physical machine, how many virtual machines you can run on that and be licensed. So here we are, I've gone ahead. It's a real quick install as you could see because it's server. I gave it a complex password and now it'll start up the server and we're ready to go. I hope this helps. Have a great day. One final thing, don't forget to rename your new virtual machines as you create them. Take care.